Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks! Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been seen together for the first time since his bombshell memoir, Spare, was published last month. Celebrating the surprise vow renewal of their close friends and neighbors Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. Ellen's wife Portia threw a star-studded birthday party at their $1.70 million Montecito mansion to celebrate turning 50 last week. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were seen whooping and cheering after Kris Jenner officiated the renewals, which surprised the former talk show host. Harry and Meghan were at opposite ends of the group, which included Brandi Carlisle and other friends and family of the celebrity couple. It is the first time that the couple has been seen together since appearing at the RFK Ripple of Hope Award in New York in December. Megan, 41, has been keeping an unusually low profile compared to her husband, who went on a worldwide publication tour for his memoir, Spare, in January. Ellen, 65, appeared stunned as Portia entered the room wearing a wedding dress and called her wife the greatest gift for the surprise. The couple has been married since 2008 and recently moved into the new Montecito mansion, which is just a stone's throw from the $14 million home of Harry and Meghan. The Suits actress' close relationship with Ellen is not a secret, with her appearing on the show in 2021. She opened up about her life in California with Harry and their two children Archie, three and Lilibet, one, as well as taking part in a cringeworthy prank. A royal source told Vanity Fair, the matter of titles is still up in the air. The feeling is that the titles need to be earned. The royals need to know that they can trust Harry and Meghan not to keep damaging the reputation of the family. Meanwhile, Charles reportedly wants Harry and Meghan to attend his coronation later this year, and he could offer them several incentives to come, according to a source. A source told Mail on Sunday that Harry could be offered a high-profile seating position as well as an assurance he can keep his titles as an inducement to attend. They said, Harry's camp made clear that the idea that he would just attend the coronation and behave himself but then be stripped of his titles was a total non-starter. While he might decide at some point to discard his titles of his own volition, he objects to the idea of being forcibly stripped of them. He resents being lumped together with Andrew in the public mind as the two problem princes when he considers the circumstances to be totally different. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.